Howdy. Earthquakes in Germany, Frankfurt. There's only one left. <clears throat> Unconfirmed. 3.2 one hour ago. I took a screenshot, obviously, 40 minutes ago. Unconfirmed near Frankfurt. I would say it is in Frankfurt. 3.2, this was the one we just watched. And there is another one. Which was a 3.4. In a slightly different location. Also unconfirmed. And now there's only one left. The other one which happened somewhere here is gone. But let's check out another spot with quakes. A deeper quake happened in the Alps some time ago, 22 kilometers, which is rather interesting. But we check out this one. Let's see, 1.0, 22 hours ago. Who would care about a quake like that? There isn't any infrastructure or anything there. A bus stop. But we have to turn that first around in order to see uphill. Because, I assume you already know what I'm going to say, so I'm going to say it. Mountain water, white rivers, geothermal activity, cryptodomes, crypto geysers, glaciers, and all these kinds of things. So obviously, this quake happened on the waterway, which is drawn here on the map which is also visible in the landscape. And there are several of them. Furka Reus. So that's a river which is joining later the River Rhine. But we have to go up here to the hill. There might be even a waterfall, I don't know. We have what seemed to me like little wet spots here. There is one water well source spring emerging is going there. So it wouldn't be too far-fetched to think that these could be also some kind of water sources. And I apologize for my voice, it's really bad. But anyway, And if you watch at this landscape, this looks rather reddish, in a way. There is like this kind of reddish spots, dark brown, and yet another water vein emerging out of the mountain. Just basic stuff. Nothing, you know, water is coming from the mountains, everybody says. But for example, this, that darker spot here, I think that's very interesting. And the whole mountain actually looks that it has been once much more fluid. It wasn't always rock. It turned into rock. And maybe this spot should be here. Maybe there's another one also here, I don't know. The reason why I show you that is because we are in the Alps on a mountain which is not buried by glaciers. But we have water veins all over the place. Like literally. We have lakes. Check this out. That's really interesting. That's the source of the river Reuss. 
I grew up where this and two other rivers join each other and they flow a little bit further into the Rhine. And also these kind of features. It seems that they happened later than this lake got created. Here we might even see the actual source of this lake, if there is something coming up from underneath. This one seems to be rather deep. And that one indicator that we are on top of a hill is that you can see water is flowing in this way on this side of the ridge and is flowing on this side to this side on the other side of the ridge. So we are on top of a mountain. Mountain. Anyway. Yeah, I actually don't need a flu in order to create these kind of voices or sounds. Just in case. Nah, yeah. It's a form of singing. Growling. And the reason why I show you those red spots here. Is. This little collage. Where we have an iron well. Here which is called Place of Power, Grimmiwasser. And not too far away, 33 kilometers approximately straight and measured, we have Le Diablere, Glacier 3000, where we had this rather odd fire on top of a mountain where this cable car turns around and go back, goes back to the valley. The mountain station catched fire for whatever reason. And there is uh, on Google Earth pictures of this glacial cave, which is on top of this mountain, Le Diablere. And I ask if there is a possibility to have iron deposits within the glacier ice, which would indicate that the water or the glacier is fed from below. And how does this has anything to do with the fire on top of the hill? In order to somehow show you what I mean by charge accumulating on peaks and such things, I wanted to show you this suspicious of service video from two days ago or something, where we are somewhere in the Arabias, on top of a mountain. Check it out. ...parts of the Rockies and the Himalaya. Rarely, but never in Saudi Arabia. Atmospheric electricity so high that plasma discharges off the fingertips of people at the peaks. Simply put, as Earth's magnetic field continues weakening, the atmosphere is becoming more and more energized. And this is going to continue. So... That's why I think it is important probably to somehow figure out, is there any possibility for these red things here in the ice being iron? Because as we just have seen, there is like plasma coming out of people's fingers on top of a hill. And if there's like electrical circuit, human built electrical circuits, you know, kitchens and stuff and if there would be an atmospheric charge building up very high or it would peak at very high voltages and stuff it could probably make some damage to facilities and it could have probably even catch fire and this picture is just a little explanation for that my question isn't probably too far-fetched since we have really an iron well not too far 
from where the fire happened. And maybe this hill where the Royce starts, the river Royce, it might have something similar. Iron containing springs, the whole hill full of them. How would they react or interact or be a part of, of changes in Earth's electric fields? Since that's a mountain, it has active circuitry, there is water flowing out there. Probably even iron springs. And if we have one of them, we could assume that there would be more. So there would be basically an iron mountain. It could also be that there hasn't been always iron pouring out, it's just somehow over time started to come more and more at certain places through whatever mechanisms. So we have a quake, a random quake, a very small one, 1 1.0 in magnitude, 9 kilometers in depth. But the surroundings are rather interesting. At least for me, I think it's very interesting. But I leave it here. Yeah, this is what I found and you can make up your own mind about these things. And don't believe me. I'm just somehow try what I think. Try to tell you what I think in a way with some pictures and stuff what I found and thoughts about the whole thing. But anyway, thanks. Bye.